Joggers, walkers, and those on bikes returned to the Ma and Pa Trail in Bel Air today, and they found a heavy police presence. Yeah, it comes after the body of a woman turned up there less than 24 hours earlier. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on that story for us tonight. She had last visited the Ma and Pa Trail in Bel Air with her husband on Saturday, just hours before 37-year-old Rachel Morin went missing here. And this time, a woman who we will only refer to as Patty for her protection has returned here with a friend and her mace in her hand. I do have some mace. Hopefully, like I said, this, this is never going to happen again and it's an isolated incident and maybe, you know, whoever's responsible left the area, let's hope, um, and this doesn't happen again. Volunteers discovered what police believe is the body of Morin on Sunday afternoon, about 19 hours after she was last seen at the William Street entrance to the trail, where police on foot and in all-terrain vehicles saturated the area on Monday. As far as we're concerned, we have no solid suspect. We, we can't say, uh, I said again this last night, we cannot stand in front of the community and say, you know, that there's not a random person out there who committed this act who still poses a threat to the community. In the absence of a suspect, speculation is running high here in the community over whether the woman's murder was random or whether she was targeted. For her part, Patty isn't taking any chances. She says her husband noticed something or someone on Saturday that seemed insignificant at the time. He said, did you see that guy staring at you? I said, no, I, I really didn't. Um, but then when I turned around and looked, he did look like not somebody you would expect on this trail. Um, it was just kind of like, just like a real weird and just a strange, not somebody typically out taking a walk exercising. Ironically, police in another area of Bel Air were looking for another missing woman, 58-year-old Karen Elliott, over the weekend. But the sheriff says that case is unrelated to that of Rachel Morin and no foul play is suspected in her disappearance. In Hartford County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.